Welcome back to Diamond Island, guys. Today, hopefully, our timing issues are sorted out. Actually, it's not because it's 7 p.m. on the DS in Diamond Island. But here where I am now, because I've moved to the other side of the US, it is 4 p.m. So I'm three hours ahead in Tomodachi life. Luckily, though, that means our me's are not going to be asleep because it's not too late. Right. Let us grab ourselves some amazing monies. Let's see how much we get today. 219. Okay, we're up to almost, well, we're up to 1,500 pounds. That's good. We have another event that's on the fountain. There's a rap battle underway. We've had so many rap battles, so I don't think we're going to do that today. The evening market at the amusement park is open. Let's see what's going on there. Oh, it's the lucky bags. Yes. This shop's been on TV. Has it? <laughs> Has it really? All right, let's buy a lucky bag. 50 pounds. Let's see what's inside. I think we get three things. The first item is a domino. I mean, how amazing is that? Our second item is, oh, a reindeer dress. Nice. It is the height of summer right now, but we'll forgive that for now. <laughs> the third item is a roller skate outfit. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Who can we give the roller skate outfit to? I love the lucky bags though. Super cool. Right, since we didn't have any luck with new stuff last time, let's go ahead and see what we've got. I've literally completely run out of food right now, so we need to buy some stuff. We've got apple pie, just some straight up cherries, fried sardines, spaghetti pepperoncino. That actually sounds amazing. Let's buy a few of those. They are expensive, but hey, let's buy it. Got some tomato juice as well. Fried sardines. Let's buy three of those. And I'm actually going to have to go back in and buy some of these. I'm going to have to spend most of my donations today on all of this food. I think that should be enough today. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> let's see what else is new. Oh, guys, we've got a rhino horn. <laughs> a ronin wick. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I know exactly who is going to be able to use that and a skull hair clip. Okay, we had a full skull face last time. So a skull hair clip is pretty cool. Rhinoceros horn, I am definitely going to buy. The Ronin wig. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so many people that would suit £39. I'm gonna buy the skull hair clip anyway, just because they're all awesome. And let's see what is in clothing. Oh man, that has set me in a good mood today. When there's good hats, I'm in an even better mood for the video, right? Let's have a look here. We've got ourselves some new colors for the pharaoh costume. I like it. I don't think anyone's wearing that right now. Got a new sweatshirt, me wear since 1889. Not sure me's are around in 1889. We've also got more baggy shirts, flared skirts, and an outdoors outfit in every single color. You know what? Those aren't that great. I do like the sweatshirt, though. I wish we could get it in different colors, but those are pretty terrible. We do also need some apartments, so let's see what the interiors are saying. we still got wedding. We've got boys, steampunk, and training, so we're actually getting non-new ones, which is terrible. The wedding one is still available. We do have enough money to buy it. Today might be a good day, but I am going to buy the boys one. That looks pretty good. We've got, like, the clouds, the toys, the games consoles. Actually, if we buy the wedding one, we're going to be down to, like, two. 200 pounds. We'll see where we are at the end of the video, but a disappointing apartment showing. The hats, though, the hats are pretty good, right? Mies, how's it going, guys? We've got a lot going on today. Jeez, right, we've got Mr. Incredible, we've got Taylor, and we've got Ursula all wanting friends or something else. Let's see what's going on. I noticed that Freddy's not doing it. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Incredible, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I gave him a punching bag just now because he leveled up because I gave him a food he'd liked. That's literally it. But look, he's trying it out. Or is he? There he goes. Oh my goodness. Wow, Fists of Fury. Oh my, wow. Okay, so the three friendships were Ursula, who's now got her very own mobile phone. She was friends with Toriel. Who else did we help out? Mr. Incredible wanted to be more than friends with Smiley, but I was like, hold up. No. <laughs> and now we've got some other problems. Oh no, Garst is feeling upset. What's wrong? Are you feeling ill? He is in hospital, so hopefully he's in the right place. How, how are you feeling, buddy? My tummy doesn't feel too good. Oh, I feel sorry for him. Right, let's go ahead and give him some... Where is it? Stomach medicine. Where is it? There you go. 13 stomach medicines. That's so many. <laughs> oh. There they go. Get out of here, germs. Hey, look, Two-Faced and PB are getting on. Hey, that's cool. Look at her room as well. It properly suits her. And we need to figure out who we can give the uh, the boys' apartment to as well. Look, she has makeup on. I didn't even know that happened. Look, she's got a makeup set and <laughs> she's got blue above her eyes. I didn't even know that happened. I think Sam needs a special 
I agree. How about setting them up with them? Um, doesn't does Zelda have a partner? I'm not sure. Let's do a good idea. Then I'll have to get them to meet you. Okay, here we go. Detective Smiley on the case. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> Looks so weird together, but kind of cute actually. This is similar to what Jigglypuff was up to last time, but um, Two Face can't really look through the holes that well because she's got <laughs> so many eyes. Look how creepy of a bear she is! Like so creepy. It looks like he's going well though. There she is in her detective outfit too, looking to the sides. I guess. <laughs> Did it work though? This is the final result. Thank you for being with me today. San says thank you. Thank you too. Nice. That that sounds good to me. Oh. Oh, they, they walked off. That's not good. They are just going to be friends. Well, as long as they don't hate each other afterwards, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> look, look at PB's face. They're both putting on makeup together and making themselves look crazy. PB looks... <laughs> she looks insane. Oh, look how cute that is. So cute. We still don't have any marriages, though. Brock. Brock can have the boys' room. 100%. I can't believe he doesn't have anything in his apartment yet. Right, buddy, it is your lucky day. We are going to give you this. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Brock, that looks phenomenal. Let's take a look and see what's going on. We've got toy cars. We've got a football. We've got a TV. Nice. A robot. Okay, that's nice. A mystery box. A plane that flies around a globe and a pretty awesome looking door. I like it. I like it a lot. It matches his like blue and pink look. I like it a lot. Roz has gone absolutely crazy. She's running around. She has an issue. I'm going to guess that she's hungry. I reckon she's hungry today. Roz doesn't have an outfit. I'm really hungry. See? Look, I know, I know what my me's want. You are going to want some spaghetti. I'm actually really hungry right now. Seeing all this food, I think I've said it before, seeing all the real pictures of food makes me really hungry playing this game. <laughs> but we need to give you an outfit, even though you're not asking for one. But first, we need to give you your first gift ever. How is that possible? What would you enjoy? I think a hula dancing manual, and we're going to give you a perfect outfit. And it's going to be... We've got some dresses here. I think we should go for a uniform. The roller skater outfit. No, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Pharaoh. Let's give her the Pharaoh outfit. She is going to look amazing with her upturned mouth all in the Pharaoh. <laughs> oh, she doesn't like it. I'm not surprised. <laughs> she looks so weird. There she is doing her hula dancing in her pharaoh outfit. I like it, Roz. You may not like it, but I do. SpongeBob, what's going on, buddy? Don't aren't you enjoying yourself? I'd like some new clothes. Ah, SpongeBob will like new clothes. Okay, what outfits have we got? What would suit SpongeBob to a T? Basketball wouldn't, doctors wouldn't, roller skate might. I don't know. I, I, this is pressure. Got a trench coat, which might suit him. I'm going to give him the trench coat, actually. I think this will suit him quite nicely, even though he's very, very small. There you go. He likes it a little bit. At least he didn't hate it this time. At least you're not wearing a pharaoh's outfit. You were this close to getting a pharaoh's outfit. Right. Let's feed you something. Let's go for pot. Efu. He liked it. We're good. Okay, so he should level up, actually. Everyone's leveling up all over the place. This is amazing. I'm gonna give him a phrase. Let's give him a catchphrase. It is going to be... What is SpongeBob's, like, biggest catchphrase? I think it's this. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. You get the idea. SpongeBob? <laughs> Have you fallen over? Are you okay? I, th I think he's just chilling out, guys. I think he's okay. Right, have we got any more problems? We do. Oh my goodness, there's so many problems. Magic up, are you okay? Are you drowning? Can you drown? Usher is sleeping. Minion's just rolling his head around. And Zelda is literally rolling around. Let's see if we've got any interesting problems. A new hat for Zelda. Okay, you know what? You haven't changed your hat in a long time. And we have a large selection of hats. We've got top hat, curly wig, mushroom, pumpkin, rabbit. Oh my goodness, yes, I forgot about this. We need to give out the Ronin wig. You've got some turbans as well. Some headbands. A headband might be a good one. Could we give her... I don't think the rhinoceros horn's gonna work on Zelda, because she has, like, glasses at the front that make up her me style. I think we should go party hat. Let's give her a party hat. Let's see how she feels about this. She feels like a kind of a party me, so... <laughs> no! I'm doing so badly with my me's today. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I made you melt. All I gave her was barbecued meat. I'm so sorry. I was gonna say she might be a vegetarian, but she's got roast beef as her second like. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Oh, look, he's actually gone on to uh, dislikes and really dislikes. I haven't noticed that happen before. It might have happened before, but I'm not sure. And her bar went all the way down. She was so close to level four. I'm going to give Magikarp a catchphrase. He's just leveled up, and I'm going to give him this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's using the move Splash in even in Tomodachi life. Amazing. <gasps> What's this? What's this? Finn, how's it going, buddy? He's got the love hearts above his head. He still doesn't have an apartment. I might just give him the pumpkin patch one, depending on how he feels about this. What's going on? Sorry, but do you think I could be alone for a while? Who's it going to be? Who is it? Is it Zelda? It might be Zelda, guys. I have feelings for Zelda. I've got to tell her. I told you. I told you there's more love in the air. Where should I tell them? All oh, right, here we go. This is pressure. So you are going to be... Oh, I feel like... You know what? I'm going to make him sing. <laughs> Where should I tell them? And you are going to sing at the music hall? I've never seen that should before. Should I get changed first? Should you get changed? Uh, yeah, get changed. And you are going to get changed into... Oh, he doesn't really have any outfits. Regular clothes. No, oh, I should have given him an outfit before. Let's do this. Oh, this is the musical. It's where all the gigs take place. Here we go. Is this going to go down well, guys? You're in the center of my stage. And I've got a script for you to read. <laughs> it's so easy for you to say I love you and you love me. That's so cute. She can't say no. That's it. <laughs> so, what did you think? You can't say no, Zelda. That was beautiful. Oh, Absolutely beautiful. Oh, no. Freddy! What are you doing here? This is not good. This is really not good. Look at that flip. That was impressive. Nobody loves you more than me. <laughs> that was very impressive. No way. I love you the most. Oh, no, Finn. That was such a good song as well. Hold on a minute. Oh, no. There's someone else. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> Sans, you crazy person. Here he is. I love you more. We just tried to get Sans and Zelda together and it didn't work. No, no. So I, I hope she chooses Finn because Finn made a beautiful, beautiful proposal. Who's it going to be? Who does she choose? Oh, man. This is tense. <laughs> Come on. Choose the right one. Finn, I'm so glad you feel the same way. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. So happy. Get wrecked, guys. Sans, you had your opportunity. Freddy, you made a good front flip, but, um, yeah. The Finn, beautiful voice. Well done. You you deserve that. Oh, look, he's got fireworks and everything. That's so cute. Turned his best friend into a special someone. It went like a dream. Good singing, buddy. I'm so impressed with your talent. I'm going to give you a mobile phone so you can chat to Zelda all the time. <laughs> Good work, Finn. You know what? For now, I am going to give you the pumpkin patch. Just because I don't have anyone else to give it to, it was meant to... Oh, no, that's awful. <laughs> it's got, like, a barn in the background, though. Look, he's got his very own barn off in the distance. But apart from that, it's just... Oh! There's a big scarecrow there. And is that a gravestone? That, that's horrific. No, okay, Finn, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to give you that. I hope you like it, though. <gasps> oh, my goodness, another love heart. Love is in the air, guys. Right, we've got Finn and Zelda, who are freshly, freshly in a relationship. Who is next? Minion. Have you gone red? I think he's gone red. Who's he going to love? Sorry, but do you think I could be alone for a while? Absolutely not. Who could it be? Sans, Smiley, Brock, Voldemort, Phil. There's no females on those top ones. I, I'm, I'm excited. I have for Zelda. I've got to tell her. Great. Okay. Um. Originally, I was excited about this, but she's in a new relationship. Don't do it. I'm sorry. Why don't you want me to do it? She's with someone else. They're taken. I see. I suspected as much. I'm so sorry, buddy. Don't be... Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> I'm just not good enough. Oh, Minion, that's so sweet. So sweet. Right, we need to give him something pretty amazing. Unfortunately, I don't really have much that's amazing. We have a swing, a sliding puzzle, music box. This should help to cheer you up, right? <laughs> there we go. It's got the compatibility tester on it, randomly. That's a little bit weird. Right, did this cheer him up, please? Oh, not very much. What if we give him a food he really likes? I have got some chocolate gato for you. If you don't like this... Minion, we can't be friends. I'm sorry. Okay, he liked it. He really liked it. This should be it. Chocolate fixes heartbreak. No! 
<laughs> oh, what else can I give him to make him like himself a little bit more? He doesn't have any clothes. I guess we could give him some clothes as long as he likes them. I'm gonna give him a baggy hoodie. I think it will look good in this. So, um, come on, minion. Snap out of it, buddy. You've got this. Look at that. Yes, he liked it. That should be enough. Yes! We did it. <laughs> His heartbreak is cured. I think I'm getting over it now. Wow, good. Shh. Oh, she was having a dream. Is it going to be a new one, though? Oh, it is. Ninjas. There's ninjas in here. And is it, is it skeleton the ninja? It is. <laughs> does it do anything? Or does it just loop over and over again? Oh, did she catch him? <laughs> this is so awkward. So awkward. What a terrible ninja. <gasps> ninja outfit. Oh, that's so good. Thank you, Ursula. That is beautiful. I might make you wear it one day. I'd like some new clothes that I can wear while doing sports. I've got you. I've got you. Don't worry yourself. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be beautiful. It's... Oh! Oh! I don't know how to feel about that. Huh? No, no, it's good. It's good. It's fine. It looks even better with the apple on her head. She wanted something when she would do sports, so I gave her this, and I think it's fine. Oh, no. I didn't want to look that close. Let's back up. <laughs> I'd like some new clothes. Something oh. light would be nice. Something light would be nice. How about instead we give you a ninja outfit? I think you're going to love this, Harry. It's going to be beautiful. You don't need to be a wizard anymore. Just be a ninja. <laughs> Just be a ninja. I like it. He likes it a little. That's better than not at all. We've got 1,800 pounds now as well. That's amazing. And I think that is pretty much it for today, guys. Look, we've got a clean slate. A lot of stuff happened today. I mean, we had a lot of love in the air. There was conflicts. There was a lot of stuff going on. Oh, we haven't actually checked the mean news yet. Let's see what happened while we were away. Diamond Film Festival has announced this year's short film winner. Oh, what was it? The lucky winner was chosen from over 2,500 contest entries. Okay, what's this? Skeleton's animated film Gramophone and Plastic Trophy won it. <laughs> Skeleton spent a year shooting at home to create this story about two individuals in love. Oh, did One he? One of the judges, the director Paul Gemma said, it has started a new era in filmmaking. <laughs> we asked some islanders their opinions. Show me the evidence. Okay, that doesn't I'm make so sense. Excited. Well, at least someone's excited about it. That was pretty cool. Look, we've got old news as well. I didn't know we could press this. Look. Look all this stuff that's happened. Over 50 stories will be saved. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, guys, that is pretty much going to wrap up the first day. A lot happened. Look at Two-Face doing roly-polies as well. Very nice. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow, which for you is two seconds. See you in a second. And here we are in Anaheim at VidCon. <laughs> so between the first and the second half of this video, I have actually traveled a five and a half hour flight. That's pretty crazy. But anyway, let's get back to business. First up, let's collect our donations and see what's going down. We've got Skelebone up first. Actually, that's Jack. Well, Jack Skelebone, I guess. We've got 221. I think this is the first time ever we have been over 2,000 pounds. So we're doing well, and I think we can just about afford the wedding apartment now, which is good. We've also got a few events. We've got a rap battle underway. We've got the evening market as well, because I'm playing it at a similar time as I did yesterday. And we've got another lucky bag. Did we do lucky bags just now as well? I'm not sure, but let's grab one anyway, and let's see what is inside. We get three items, remember? The first one is... Oh, oh, a, um... <laughs> A diamond waistcoat. Okay, pretty nice, pretty nice. Also a little bit questionable, but we'll roll with it. What is next? Please show me. It's a seashell. Okay, I think that's a treasure that we can use. And the third item is a- Oh! A kitchen interior. I think we've already bought that one. That would have been amazing if that was a different interior. That's cool. I didn't know you could get interiors there. Actually, it says new. Maybe we've been offered it before, but we just haven't bought it. That might be right. Okay, that's pretty cool, though. I didn't know you could get interiors in a tiny little lucky bag. Right, me news. What's going down, huh? It's Gas telling us the news. What's been happening while we've been away? Antennas recovered from the ship that sank off of Diamond Island Paul. Oh. The Anna Fisher. Okay. <laughs> the lantern was probably made in the 17th century. Who is collecting that? Lantern expert Phil. Oh. Who analyzed the find, said... It slept on the ocean floor, protected from sunlight, and so it's really well preserved. So this is exactly the same as the treasure that I found, or my me found, a while ago. Right, so of course we need to check out the brand new stuff. I think we're running low on food again, and it looks like we've got lots of cool stuff. We've got fried chicken, gummy candy, <laughs> a squidgy lump of fruity goodness. So tasty you'd swear it was the real thing. 
Wait, what? We've also got muffins, salami, and scones. Oh my goodness, I am buying so much of this. I'm gonna go in on five fried chickens. I'm gonna buy 10 of the gummy candies, just because they're 10p each. Some muffins, let's grab three of those. Salami, we can buy three of those. And scones, let's buy three of those as well. Good day for a restaurant. Let's see if the hat game and the costume game, more importantly, are up to standards. Here we go. It's hat time. Let's see. We have the conical hats. I don't think this is new because it's not saying new color. We've got small ribbons. Okay, that's nice. We've got some new colors here too. And a swimming cap in different colors. I like it. We've got black, gray, red, blue, and yellow. Well, you know what? I'm gonna pass on those. Oh no, my DS has gone red. No, we're in trouble, guys. We need to we need to do this day quick. What's up, Homer? You are looking amazing today. We've got some new blouse and shirt combos, flamenco dress, scoop neck top, striped pullover, and a tartan shirt. Those aren't those aren't really that great, are they? To be honest, I'm all about the costumes. If it's not a costume, I'm not interested. And finally, apartments. Please be good. Oh, we've got wedding that's still there. We got campfire. That is amazing. Look at that. We've got girls back as well and industrial. You know what? I'm going to spend a lot of money right now. I'm going to go in and buy the wedding one just because I don't want to miss out on it and forget. Campfire, we are definitely going to buy as well. And industrial, we're going to buy as well. We have just spent £1,500 in one sitting. But we deserved it. Right? So now we need to decide who we're actually going to give the wedding apartment to. Um, I don't know. Who's it going to be? It looks like Dan wants to do- Oh no, come on. Why? Why? Let me sort this out. <laughs> Fine, I'll push you on the swing. Okay, you know what? It's going to be fun. It's going to calm you down and then you go and make up with her. She might have two faces, but that means she could be twice as angry. Good. Finally. <laughs> I'm sorry too. Yes, they made up. Okay. Disaster averted. Ooh, he gave me a sewing machine. We haven't had one of those in ages, so that's where the me makes their own clothes, I think. That's pretty cool. Thanks, me. Wow, there's actually not that much going on. We've got Marceline, Grimm, and Zelda in for some problems. Who else? Jack as well, who's doing a weird dance. We need to decide very carefully who we need to give the wedding apartment to. Now, if we find someone that, oh, maybe these two because I don't like Gemma's apartment that much anymore. You know what? I'm gonna give it to her. Right, here we go. Let's give her the wedding apartment. Oh no, I should have checked first. What am I doing? Oh, this could be a waste. This could be a waste, but hopefully it allows them to get married. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> so we have ourselves a set of wedding bells and a wedding cake, lots of flowers, more food literally everywhere, and a wedding archway. Oh, there you are. Not bad. I think that looks pretty cool. It was 990 pounds. That's expensive. Now the question is, yep, she wants to get married to Skelebone. Okay, I think we're in a good position here. We just need to wait. And I, I don't want to wait any longer. We've been waiting for so many episodes. All right, let's sort out some problems, shall we? Who should we go for first? Um, oh, Taylor, are you okay? You fell so badly. <laughs> To have a cute hat. A cute hat. Okay, I think we've got a nice collection of hats so far. She's got a bubble hat already. Um, you want cute though. Can I give you cute or can I give you something ridiculous? I forgot to give someone this. How can I forget to do that? Right, Cheros' new wig is coming out. Um, uh, maybe the headband or the jewel or the bunny or the rhino horn or you know what? Let's go for the headband. In a perfectly pink color that will match your TV quite nicely. There we go. She likes it as well. Uh-oh, uh oh, battery joining out. Um, I'm in trouble. Guys, I need a charger. I've got it. We're saved. Quick, plug it in before we lose everything. I think that might actually be the second time that's happened in a video. So if I'm holding the DS in a weird way, that's because it's plugged in on the wall and I'm sitting on the edge of the bed. So uh, forgive me, forgive me. Right, Jack wants some new clothes. Now he hasn't asked to change clothes in a long time. So um, I was thinking of giving him the reindeer dress. No? <laughs> Fine, we'll look at something else. We've got the American football uniform, basketball outfit, doctor's coat he would suit, Bavarian outfit, hamster's costume, Highland outfit. He would actually look really good in that. But that changes his hat. What else have we got here? We've got um, bear t-shirt. The blazer would look pretty good. Diamond waistcoat, dinner jacket. Dinner jacket I'm saving for weddings because it's 200 pounds and looks amazing. I think we should go Highland outfit. I think it'll suit this pretty nicely. There's only one way to find out. What do you look like? <laughs> he likes it as well, I told you. I told you he'd look amazing. Look at him. <laughs> look, I gave him a ballet manual. So now he's practicing ballet in his... Oh, he's actually doing really well. Did you see that pirouette? Homer looks like such a crazy person. Look at his house. He's got cardboard boxes everywhere and he's wearing two towels. 
He's amazing. He's one of my favorites. Did you just fall over? I missed that. <laughs> How's your relationship? Wants to get married still. Could this be it? I'd like a new hat. He wants a new hat. I'm, I'm upset about that. He's always wanting a new hat. What would match his towel, though? A cooking cap could match. Nope. I think it might be time. I think it might be time for the Ronin wig. Shall we do it in time for the wedding? I think so. Let's go. Enjoy it, buddy. It's going to be beautiful. <laughs> I'm, not <sur> <laughs> I'm not surprised you don't like it. Look at him. Spin around. Look at that. That is absolutely disgusting. Buddy, I'm so not sorry. Right, I'll give you something in return. What did we buy today that'll be tasty? We've got so much stuff in here. Let's give you a muffin. I said I was running out of food, but it turns out I'm just not giving them the right ones. And he really enjoyed the muffin. Okay, I think I'm forgiven for the crazy wig. <laughs> and he's got to number one as well. <laughs> it looks so funny. <laughs> Anna, she doesn't have one yet. <laughs> so mean. And look what I put on her face. Literally is so mean of me. Right, let's give her an apartment. We've got campfire, industrial, or kitchen. I actually really like the campfire one. I'm going to give that to you. It's going to look beautiful. Here we go. Look at that. It matches your favorite color too. So we've got uh, a sleeping bag, a, a big old tent, a lantern, um, campfire. That looks so nice. So nice. And some rocks. I mean, you can't go wrong with rocks, right? And I'm not going to lie to you. You actually look really terrifying. I mean... Look at her face. What have I what have I done to it? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm making her feel insecure. I was gonna try and find Homer, but oh there he is. <laughs> Look at his hair. It's so ridiculous. So ridiculous. And everyone's here. We've got uh, Zelda, Misty, Homer, and Voldemort. What are you doing? You're just kind of oh, I don't even know. You shouldn't stare into the sun. That's bad for your eyes. Let's see where everyone else is. We've got people at the beach. We've also got people at the observation tower. So let's check that out as well. Who's here? It's Anna. Oh my goodness, did you see that? She just kick flipped that thing the first time. That was amazing. Let's zoom all the way in and see this ha happen again. I literally just gave her this skateboard and she's already mastered it. Come on. You've got this. Here we go. <laughs> That's so cool. Wait, did she fall over? Nope. I think she's good. Go on, do another trick. Do another trick. I saw you do a more impressive one a minute ago. Here she comes. Come on, kickflip. No, do a kickflip. And there's people at the fountain as well. Let's see who's out and about. It's SpongeBob in his trench coat doing squats near the fountain. I mean, whatever makes you happy, buddy. I desperately want this. An Islander wedding. Let me go and check if I've got something in the pawn shop. I'm looking for like a ring or something because I've heard in the comment section that you need like an engagement ring from one of the treasures to be able to get them married. But I'm not 100% sure that's true. I've got a rubber ring. Would, would that work? I mean, it could do. <laughs> We can start selling this stuff as well. I think I'm going to sell all the things that I have um, more than one of. Because I only need one of each. And they go into my album anyway. So let's sell this. Let's make some money back. Let's sell one tin of paint. A stethoscope. I'm going to sell all these things. And let's see how much money we have at the end. And there you go. That's all my spares. We are back up to 1,348. Now considering we have spent close to 2,000 pounds in this episode that actually isn't too bad at all. Is there anything else we can do? We've got another problem going on because I think we've done a lot today. <laughs> Sans, what are you doing? Is he is he on the phone? Nope, he's just dancing away in his skull mask, looking beautiful. Treyas, you are so lucky you didn't get the Ronin wig. I should have bought two. I forgot I had so many bold me's. Can I buy another one? Did you just say you like bread? I'd like a new look for my room. Treyarch, really? Why now? Why now? What have we got? We've got industrial or kitchen. We could give him industrial. I mean, it's cool, but it's not as cool as what he's got right now. If he wants a new one, I'm going to have to give it to him. He's close to leveling up, actually, and this one is very nice. He's got a massive TV. Okay, you know what? This is fine. Massive sound system that is gold. A big red door, a big fridge. You know what? This is actually better for Treyarch. It's got TV, it's got video games, it's got music, and a giant fridge. I think he's going to be fine. And he's got all the way up to level 12. Wow, he's got to be one of our highest level me's by far. Homer, Homer, no. No, he got changed back. I told you, this, that's the first time that's happened. So when you give them the mirror, they just change whenever they like. He got out of his Ronin wig. I could have used that on Treoris. I'm going to see if I can buy another one because that's out of order. Where is the wig? There it is. You are in trouble, Treoris. Oh man, this is going to be amazing. You want to change your room? Well, I'm going to give you hair. I'm calling you back for this, buddy. This is going to be the greatest haircut you've ever had. Didn't you have some other hair before? 
I can't really remember. I feel like he's had hair before. But you know what? You are going to get this. Check it out. Ronin wig. Because Homer got changed out of his. Here we go. <laughs> Even his sad face looks amazing. Look at this. Looks amazing. You got popcorn on you, buddy, as well. Look at his hair. That's phenomenal. And now we need to get the popcorn off of his face. Not that that's the worst thing that's on his head right now. I'll get it for you anyway, buddy. It's fine. You've still got crazy hair. Actually amazing. Look how, look how happy he looks. I mean, <laughs> oh, look, if you twist him round, can we twist him round? He's a small child. There we go. It's literally half the length of him. That's how long his hair is. My mission is complete. I've made Treyos' life even worse. I'd like some new clothes. Hey, Freddy, I can hook you up. Right, let's see what we can put him in. Basketball, he might actually suit. I think he's going to suit a basketball uniform. Let's give him that. Orange and blue actually go really well together as well with his room. Look at that. It's made for him. He loves it as well. I'm so glad. We've got knees leveling up all over the place. Today is a very productive day. I want to see him put on some makeup. So I'm going to give him the beauty kit because yesterday we saw that they were putting on like blue eyeshadow and stuff. I want to see it, Freddy. I want to see it, buddy. They're doing it. They're actually doing it. Look, <laughs> he's put makeup on. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> In unison as well. Oh man, that is amazing. Look at Freddy's face. If I go into the room, will it show it? It certainly will. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's amazing. I think that is pretty much it. He's back to putting his makeup on in his arcade. Absolutely phenomenal. So guys, uh, these two days were actually quite action-packed, so I am just going to leave it there for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there was a lot going on today. I think this is amazing. We have lots of love, lots of impressions. Freddy wearing makeup, the wigs. Oh man, so much happened. It was great. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please do a big fat thumbs up because I thought this is one of my favorite episodes so far. And if this happens to be the first video you see by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDM today for daily videos. Apart from that, guys, if you feel like checking out another one, why don't you check out this video right here? Or you can come and see me live on tour in the USA where I am right now by clicking the link just below it. Apart from that, guys, have an amazing day. You are awesome and I'll see you next time. Bye.